And you might have experienced this, I have, and it's not very fun. But do you have anyone in your life when someone either will text you or call you or email you and you're like, inside you know, like, okay, what do you need? <laughs> Right when someone doesn't reach out to you in a long time and then they reach out and you there's certain people that you might be like Okay, what, what do you need? Right first they say hi, and then they ask for something It's okay. It's impossible to stay in touch with everyone So that will naturally happen sometimes But if you have someone who you if you've experienced that you know how it feels inside You know how it feels when it's like okay, you only reach out to me when you need something in some cases, when people that are very close to me, that's been painful. That has been painful to me to experience that, to receive that, and, and to see what came up with, in my body and how that felt. But then I realized too, like, okay, that's how my inner child feels when I ignore him for a month, and then I go back to trying to reconnect, and then I disappear for two weeks, and then I go back and try to rebuild that relationship. <clears throat> and I'm not sharing this to make you feel bad about your own connection and relationship with your inner child. This is just to bring awareness to the fact that this is probably the main reason why we need consistency with connecting with ourselves, connecting with our inner child. Because you don't want the inner child to feel like, okay, he's just going in again and connecting again because he's feeling crappy, so he just wants to heal this, and next week he'll forget about me again. That's why, and I'll share more in other videos, that's why consistency is huge. And the thing is that I've had a lot of resistance towards consistency in the past. But what I'm asking you is, a minute, you don't even need half an hour a day, 20 minutes a day, 10 minutes a day. If all you can do today <clears throat> is just bring your awareness inside and just, th there's two things that were very helpful for me, just to say, how are you doing today? Just check in, how are you? It's fine if you don't get a message, an answer, a feeling, it's okay. But by your inner child knowing that you're there, you're asking, how are you? That shows it that you care. And then the second part of it is just say, if you need anything from me today, just let me know. Just imagine being a child, right, in pain, and hearing that. Wouldn't that be lovely? Wouldn't that be beautiful? For someone to ask you every single day, how are you today? And just to show you how much they care. That would be beautiful. And then to say, if you need anything today, please just let me know. Wouldn't that also make you feel safe and cared for? So I'm invite you to let your inner child know because it's about showing right how will you regain trust with someone in your life that the relationship has been damaged over time they need to show you that they've changed they can't tell you that they've changed they can't tell you that things are going to be different. They have to show you. have to show you that things are going to be different. Things have changed. So this, it's the same for you and your inner child. How can you show your inner child that you're there for it every single day now? It takes two minutes, one minute. Just say, how are you? And if you need anything from me today, please just let me know. We need that consistency. We need to let our inner child know. We need to show our inner child 
that we're not going to be the person that just calls, quote unquote, calls when they need something. So it's just an invitation. You can do whatever you want to do, but it's just an invitation from my heart to yours.